Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you are new, welcome to my channel. Um, today, I'm going to be working with Let's Resin again. I'm going to be using their tray, and this is their butterfly and moth collection. Um, the envelope is super cute. It has like a little butterfly opening. And then these are all the moths and the butterflies. And I'm actually going to be using one big moth today. These are dried flowers, dried and pressed flowers that I got from Amazon. I'm going to be using these. I'm going to be using navy blue and chrome gold from islandmicasandmore.com and a little bit of gold leaf, gold leafing. Of course, everything I use will be in the description box. Um, I'm going to start with a little angled brush and I'm going to brush into the corners. The tray has a tiny little lip around the edge, so I just want that part gold to match the gold leafing. So I'm just going to get a little and just go right around the edge. And you can pull this back a little bit to open it up. This is going to be super easy. It just glides right on. Kind of like how it feels. So I measured with water. This mold takes eight ounces of resin. All right, so that's all done. Um, this is the last one that I made. It's a little dusty, but it's a color shift. I believe I made a tutorial if you go back um, on my channel. A few videos back, I think I made a tutorial on this. Okay, so now I'm going to pause and I'm going to go mix up eight ounces of resin. We got our gold around the edges. I will be right back. All right, guys, so I have my eight ounces of resin mixed up. And the only reason I have it in two cups is because I ran out of big cups and I didn't want to try to mix it. It's just not enough room. So I'm just going to add the navy blue. Two scoops in each for now. If I need to add more, I will. This is actually a custom mix that I made. I spilled a little bit of mica on the tray. I'll pick that up with some tape. When you pick it up you could still see through it I don't want that I want it to be very opaque so I'm gonna add some more super dark sometimes you can uh, with the trays you can lay down a clear layer first and put your butterflies or your moths or whatever your decorations are down first with the clear later layer and then when that cures you come back with the dark behind but with this tray it wouldn't really work out that well so you would have to pour the edges first with the navy blue and let that dry and then do a clear layer it was just too many steps so i'd rather just do the background first and then add my decorations to the inside of the tray so i'm just going to get some tape And pick up that mica. If it doesn't want to come up, baby wipes work too. Even better. And then I'm going to pour.
my table does a lean a little bit to the back so you guys want to make sure that your table that your workspace is level unfortunately i cannot fix mine right now as i keep saying in my other videos i'm moving to a new art studio so i have to kind of wait for that and just let all that get settled it's going into the corners and now i'm gonna spritz with some alcohol to pop the bubbles and then we're gonna let that cure and then tomorrow we'll come back and put the decorations in the inside of the tray so thank you for watching and i will see you tomorrow hey guys so this is ready to be demolded Super easy to get off. Some of the gold kind of went down the sides a little bit, but it's not bad. It kind of looks like I meant to do it. Um, so these are, let me get the flowers and these are the butterflies. There's so many in here. It also says that they're coated in a layer of mica powder. Ooh, I kind of like this one better now. I didn't really go through all of them, but there's a whole pack of little ones. That's really pretty. Oh man, I would be here all day. I should have looked through them, through them all. Because some of the ones that have blue might match a little better. But I, just, I think I'm just going to stick with the original plan and go with a moth. So I don't overcrowd the tray. I'm going to go with the original one. I can use that on another and a different a different tray. And these flowers. And I have tweezers to pick up the flowers. Just gonna set this aside. And I did mix up two ounces of resin. Put some gloves on. All right, so I'm just gonna fill the tray with two ounces of resin. This might not cover the moth and the flowers, but it will set it in and then we'll do another layer over. That way, that way, hopefully, they don't slide around too much. I wanted to do a velvet technique on this tray, but like I was saying earlier, the back is, it doesn't really have enough room. wipe my gloves so that way when I touch the side of the tray I don't get any resin on it I'm trying not to be super messy and I'm just letting spreading out this resin everywhere
right, I'm gonna do a little alcohol spritz. All right, and I'm gonna start with my moth. Super shiny and pretty. And I'm gonna lay that right down in the center. And then I'm just gonna lay some flowers around. Oh, that one just fell right in. This one has like a whole stem behind it. They're kind of hard to pick up with these tweezers. I think maybe I'm terrible <clears throat> with arranging all this. I want to put some of these pink flowers in, but I definitely don't want the long stem. Some of the stem, maybe. There's dark pink. I think I'm going to go with the dark pink. I'm going to cut some of the stem off. Actually going to cut this little area off right here and more of the stem <laughs> Of course you guys can do this any way you want. Um, I'm trying to kind of go for the same look on each side. Maybe I'm going to cut just a couple pieces of this green off, green leaves.
That one's a little too big. I think that is good. I don't want to overdo it. I kind of do like these. Maybe one here. I'm probably overdoing it. But hey. I think I did this guy upside down. Of course, I'm not going to be able to pick it up. And I broke them. Okay, well definitely don't do that. I don't have another one either. I don't think. But I'm gonna take that little guy out with a stick. This is actually the first time I'm, I've worked with flowers. I have some casting resin coming and I'm gonna try to do a deep pour with some roses. So my OCD is kicking in and I don't have a matching flower for that side. The gloves make it super hard to work with, with the flowers, I'll tell you that. just kind of looking to the flowers over here. And I do have gold leaf too. Um, what to do, what to do? All right, so I'm just gonna throw this is a little more purple than those. And I'm going to take this one out. Because it'll drive me nuts. There we go. Alright, and then I'm going to come with just a little bit of gold leaf. Put it right there. This stuff gets crazy. Because my um, workspace is a little bit unlevel, I just put this under here to kind of lift up my board so everything doesn't float up, which it's probably going to do anyways. So I'm just putting a little down, and then if I want it smaller, I just pick it up and pull it. It comes right apart. It comes right apart like the flower did, huh?
Um, so I think that's good for now. I'm going to push everything down one more time. I'm not going to spray any alcohol. I'm not going to torch it because it'll burn the flowers. I'm just going to let this set. And then come back and do another two ounces over the top to seal everything in. So that is it. I'm going to pull the camera down to give you a close up and then I will see you guys in 12 hours. Okay, so this is ready for the final layer. I mixed up three ounces of resin. And I also noticed in the light, I forgot to cover this. So there's like a little, I don't know what that is there, dust or a hair. And one here. So easy fix. I'm just going to take my little sander and just lightly sand it. And it'll come right out. And there. I don't know if you can see it. One here. And then I'm going to clean off my tray very well. Okay, I'm going to clean off the tray very good. I'm going to spray some alcohol. Wipe it down with a paper towel. Hit it with the baby wipe. And alcohol one more time. And this time I'm going to cover it up. I'm just checking to make sure I got everything. All right, so I mixed three ounces of resin. For the last layer, it was two, but I just wanted to just make a little more to make sure everything gets covered. The only thing that is really sticking out, sticking up is the leaves. Are those ferns or something? I don't know my flowers. Don't come at me. All right, and I'm just cleaning my gloves off. And just spreading it around the tray. making sure that it gets to all four corners. And then it's going to <clears throat> then I'm going to give it my little alcohol spritz. That'll help the bubbles pop. And then we'll check on this tomorrow. I'll take it outside and see how it looks.
and I'm going to put a cover on it right now. Thank you guys for watching. See you tomorrow. Good morning. It is all done and I actually love how it came out. Um, it's a really overcast and rainy day here so I'm not getting a lot of sunlight. <clears throat> a couple things. Um, you saw me using a lot of alcohol to pop bubbles. If you have a lot of problems with bubbles, you can use your heat gun. I wouldn't use the torch. Um, the heat gun is much better for this project. And also, when I did the second layer, I didn't even see, you know, because I did some sanding, that I was doing cups next to this project when I didn't cover it up. And I used some of my island shimmer. I don't know if you can see that. And there's a little bit of island shimmer in the background. And you know what? It's okay. I kind of like it. Maybe next time I'll add some. It just looks like a little sparkles in the background. But I think it's super beautiful. I love how it came out. Like I said, it's my first time working with flowers, maybe a large amount of flowers. Um, so if you're in my Facebook group, Resin Fanatics, and you follow the, tu the tutorial and make one of these, please go and post it in there so I can see what everybody came up with. Um, thank you for watching again, and I will see you next time. Bye.